really quick, I want to mention before we scored, unless you guys had anything else. I have mentioned a few things, because I went and stupidly saw a midnight showing in this film. I had mentioned a few rules of etiquette about midnight showings of four movies like this. Number one, I'm never going to see a midnight showing of a movie like this again. Me and my girlfriend... Why? Me and my girlfriend, well, I'll explain. We, me and my girlfriend will not be going to the midnight showing of Deathly Hollows Part 2. We'll be seeing it at a normal time where people are idiots. <laughs> people oh, are yeah, dressed up. And, uh, well, no, okay, the dressing up part is that's all right with me. Okay, do what you want, basically, because I understand it. You can dress up all you want. You're a fanatic and everything. Um, you're a bad parent. If you bring your kids to a midnight showing of any movie, <laughs> doesn't matter if it's Harry Potter, Star Wars, Inception, a new Godfather movie, it doesn't matter what it is. Do not bring your kids out at midnight, especially, okay, if they're if they're like 12 or older, understandable then, that's fine. They're, they're a little bit older, they want to stay up that late anyway. But if your kid is like younger than 12, why the fuck do you have them out that late at night? There is no movie important enough to keep them up that late. Especially babies. Why would you bring a baby out to a movie that late? Ridiculous. Um, the story I was going to tell is, I, me and my girlfriend were in the movie, seeing it, and this kid, this like six or, the five or six year old kid's talking the entire time to go, Mommy, what's that? And who's that? And what's that? And the entire time. And finally, this is on the right side of the theater. Finally on the left side of the theater, Probably a 30 or 40 year old lady is like, Will you take the kid outside? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I was like, Wow. And a few people applaud, a few people cheer and shit like that. The mom gets up, takes the kid outside and stuff. And on one hand, appropriate, because you shouldn't be bringing your damn kids to a midnight show. But at the same time, lady, you're like in your 40s. Why are you yelling at kids? <laughs> be the adult, go outside. Tell movie management so they come in and say something, and they'll probably hook you up with a free popcorn and a free ticket to the next movie. That's all you have to do. You don't need to act immature like that. You're, you're saying all these horrible yet entertaining things. Why would you not want to go back to a midnight show, man? Like, I'm uh, having a blast. Hold on. That's not it, though. <laughs> Rule number two. No yelling at the characters <laughs> at all. They can't hear you. So if you say, Harry, watch out, he doesn't know. He's. It's already filmed. He's not going to watch out unless he knows to watch out, basically. So nothing you do can change that from happening. Next. Oh, my God. I understand when a character comes back, okay? Because, assumably, I've seen the other movies in this series. So when Dobby comes on screen, I don't need 18 million comments of, It's Dobby. Hey, that's Dobby the Elf. Dobby's back. Oh shit, it's Dobby! I don't need to hear that. I fucking know it's Dobby. Okay? So you going on for two minutes about, it's Dobby! Like trying to whisper about it. No, no. I know it's Dobby. You don't need to tell the person next to you who doesn't even know you. Like you're turning to people you don't know. Like, Will, you're a complete stranger. That's Dobby. That's Dobby. He was in Chamber of Secrets. Or Prisoner of Azkaban, one or the other. That's Dobby. Don't need to do it. Fucking annoying. And last but not least. And this is the one that pissed me off the most. You are not ingenious if you make a joke about another movie because that word is just casually mentioned, basically. For example, and this is the one I'm going to use. A character in the film mentions, well, we can only do this. It's like so, It was something like, well... They only come out at twilight. And oh! three rows in front of me is like, Twilight sucks. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> Because they said twilight, and that character was specifically referring to a bullshit series about vampires and shapeshifters. That's exactly what that character meant when he said it. He was referring to the movie Twilight. Just so just so everybody knew. So you're smart for mentioning that right there. You're not smart. You're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> that's like so that's like me in a sentence, as stupidly as it sounds. I'm gonna take a family guy jump. That's like me he's saying, man, man, this day is totally Superman for the quest for peace. <laughs> And it's like, okay, I'm re right there. I'm, I'm specifically referring to Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Or instead of me just saying, man, don't we all just wish there could just be peace in the Middle East? Someone's like, ah, ah, you said peace. That's in Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. I know what you're talking about right there. It, it's, 
It's not funny. It's not funny. You're just a jackass for doing that. And nobody thought you were cool for saying that at all. Nobody. We know Twilight sucks. They weren't talking about Twilight. Shut the fuck up. You're pretty riled up about this, aren't oh you? Oh, my God, dude. When I got home, I had to put something on Facebook. There's like six or seven posts. Yeah, I say you know T like, is really pissed off is when he pulls out the laptop for Facebook. He got that laptop just oh to God. constantly update his Facebook. Ridiculous. I won't do any more midnight showings, though, for movies like that. If it's something something so small and then funny like Sherlock Holmes, sure, I'll do a midnight showing for that. Not going to do it for another Harry Potter movie. Well, you only got one more, so. I know. Not going to do it. It's not happening. Not going to do it for, uh... For the re-release of the Star Wars? No. No? No. So I can hear, it's Luke! Yeah! Or, the, I guarantee it'll happen. Luke, I am your father. Woo! He said it! Yeah. I know, well, considering they're releasing them in the order they take place, we're going to hear, Jar Jar Yeah, no, not happening. Not happening. I feel like I owe Tia free bag of popcorn. <laughs> I feel so bad for the guy. You do.